Hey everybody, this is Alzareth, and welcome to Backpack Hero. I've done a, quite a few of the quick games already. I actually beat each of the different kind of starting characters for that, and those will be going up over on Game Sampler. But today we're going to be starting the story mode and just doing a little bit of that to see how it goes, because I do plan on reviewing this game eventually over on the main channel. And yeah, we're starting just from scratch. You can see nothing up here so far. I did actually have to restart the game. I had started a run, but thankfully it did not save. Um, I was having trouble with the audio recording for the game. So yeah, now you should have audio in the background. <laughs> and we should be all right. In the deep dark dungeons beneath Ordaria, a young pack rat searches for treasure. Oh my, oh my goodness. There she discovers a mysterious relic. A backpack. It's a backpack. Let's click it and see it out. What's the mysterious relic? It is our frickin' backpack. Okay, so now we should be able to just venture forth, I'm guessing. Oh, we actually can't go to our backpack after clicking on that. Okay. A chest of valuables. This is probably going to give us our starting gear, if I had to guess. Yes, it is. Okay, so we will grab that. Add all items to our backpack to continue. Yay. And do we actually... Oh, yeah, we have an encounter here. Do we not? No, we do not. Okay. In combat, you click on items to use them. You must defeat all enemies, blah, blah, blah. Basic controls. And many items, including your sword and shield, require energy. Once you're out of energy, you should end your turn. Okay, so this guy's not going to be doing anything this turn, so we're going to just stab him in the face a few times. We could kill him in one round using the food, but I'm not going to bother with that. You can see their intentions above their head. It's giving me the tutorial again, which is a bit weird, because I have beaten the, like, not the, the quick play version a few times. And I will be sipping on stuff while I'm playing this, because for some reason, my throat is just not cooperating lately. As you can probably tell by the gaps between videos. So you're going to be doing six damage, so let's go ahead and get that shield up. We probably, yeah, we could not have killed him this turn. So end turn, let him smack into our armor. And thankfully, armor goes away each turn, so we get to level up and, and grow our backpack. So we get to choose four spaces. I'm going to go ahead and just expand out to the side here and get a little bit of verticality here. Yeah, because that'll let us get some armor items, at least. And yes, here there's so many items and so much to discover. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, even for a backpack hero. If you feel confused, bring up the context menu and you can look at the cards. So we've got a lot of stuff here. I'm going to set to that to the side. Okay, so we have probably one of my favorite things right here, the tunic. It's not going to be super useful just yet, but it's going to give us armor each turn. And we can take some rings and stuff to get luck and a little bit of extra life. The rest of these, not too impressive. This gives us extra damage on our weapons. Not going to be able to use that very soon. We got potions and stuff like that that I'm really bad about forgetting to use, so I don't tend to take them. I tend to, like, save stuff like that for the very end, so it's kind of like, why should I? I'm going to go for the stuff that's actually useful for me that I will not feel the whole too-good-to-use club for, so. That's stuff like elixirs and things like that in other games. So starting out, the dungeon doesn't look too terribly difficult. We do have a questionable event. Are you greeted by a member of the patrol? The squirrel looks at you absentmindedly. Long ago, I retired from the patrol, he says. Now I spend my days adventuring and reliving my glory days. I don't need much of my old equipment anymore. Any interest to you in something? Um, I will take a shield. What kind of shield did you give me? You gave me the happy buckler. On use adds energy cost for this combat. Ugh, it's rare. I think we'll swap it out for that. This is actually a handy ring, but we're going to be going block route. I'm going to sell this, in case you're wondering. Okay, so these guys going to be a little bit more dangerous, but thankfully we do have, let's see, that's going to be 7, 14, 21. We could do three hits. That's not going to be enough to block, so we're going to do two blocks and a stab. That should be enough to block all their damage. You're going to skip a turn. I think I still want to kill them. Yeah, that's nine there, so that's enough to deal with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take you out. In turn, I'm not going to bother with the Happy Buckler just yet. We could use it in a pinch, but I don't think we're going to need it just yet. 
Because these guys are not going to do enough damage to make it really worth using that, I don't think. You know what? I'll go ahead and do that one there. So I can get three full stabs on that guy. And we'll probably be able to finish him next turn. But it's a fairly decent little strategy. Boop. Level up again. I will take those three there. And we'll do one above. Done. Hey, and we got one of the things I wanted, which is a helmet. And this actually buffs said helmet. I love having a bunch of helmets attached to tunics. They're so powerful. They're so great. This is a handy weapon. It does AoE, basically. I think we're going to go ahead and take small stuff, though, just so we can sell things that we don't need. Excuse me. Let's see. That is a tilted sword. It only takes two slots, though. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and take that, and we'll just slide this in there, because I think this is going to be a better weapon for us, because this is going to keep getting more damage every single turn, and it only takes up two slots. The big downside is that it is slanted. We are on the lookout for a better shield, we're on the lookout for a few other things like that. So let's see, 8, 16, 24, that actually is lethal. Boom, end turn. That guy's not going to do anything this turn, so we'll stab him next turn and not even actually have to block this entire round. And all of you are garbage. Is any of this rare? I don't think so. No, but we could probably get more money for it than just carrying around the wooden sword. So I'm going to go ahead and take a warm drink, which is eh, healing and stuff like that. We'll take the whetstone... There we'll go we'll like that, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Though it is worth noting, the whetstone is only good if we start getting a bunch of the free weapons, which is something I am looking forward to. Do I want the chest or do I want the enemies? I want the enemies for the levels. The chest would probably give me better stuff, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, we don't have lethal for either of them, so let's go ahead and get that kind of set up and we'll do stabby stabby. In turn. Hope for the best. These are free to use, by the way. Zero. But they're consumable, so they get destroyed. And honestly, since they're not going to be too dangerous this turn, I am fine with just stabbing the crap out of them. And you are not going to do anything to me. Ha ha! Because I already have ten armor thanks to tunic and hat. Let's see, body armor. This is interesting. It doesn't really help me too much with how I play, so it's not going to work out great for me. Legendary bracelet. For each adjacent curse gets one energy. Ooh. Ooh. That is that is tempting. I could go a curse build. I think as far as these go, I want to get rid of the rough wet stone and take that. Just to get more luck. Uh, legendary is worth quite a bit. Do we have any rares or anything? No. It's just all commons. I think we will go ahead and grab one of the shurikens instead of the drink. Although No, we'll, we'll keep the drink. Go to the next floor. We haven't taken any damage yet, so generally the goal is to set up enough defense that you don't take any damage, and then just use as many free or cheap attacks to really just take everything out. So there is going to free up some inventory space for us. This guy will only buy so much. So I'm going to sell that to you. I actually really like these. <laughs> I had a hammer build with these. That was a ton of fun. Um, Boots might actually be handy. This is a free weapon. Does take up three slots, but I think I might come back later and grab it from him. If we get a level up, just get three slots and grab that just for just a nice free AoE. Oh, and we want to sell the Happy Buckler for sure. And no, he won't take any more items, so we can't sell more to him. No. So I think we'll just sit on our money for that one and just go for some level ups on this. That means going for the experience over here, which that adds to our experience. Oh, and we're at 29 out of 25. I hate that we can't level up outside of combat. Okay, so we have a guy trying to steal 12 there. Okay, so we should be able to stab him. 
I need that and two stabs on you. And then we can kill him before he runs away. Because he's going to steal our gold and then try to run away. Okay, and we have eight coming in. We have plenty of armor for that. And this is going to just keep getting stronger every single time. And yes, if I reorganize, I can get items. I'm not terribly interested in them. Because frankly, those items, there's some of them that are nice, but not worth throwing away an entire turn for. Especially considering we get a ton of items after this. So three spaces, I'm going to go over here on the right. Get items. Oh, and we get a free one. Cool. Okay, now this is probably not the wisest of ideas. I'm going to move these up. Even though it doesn't really change their defense any. Can see. Oh, actually, bottom might be more beneficial. No, it's for either way. So it's just going to stay down there. Now we can get rid of the tilted sword. No, we're going to keep the tilted sword. Just for now. Take that. They get poison, but they lose damage. That's actually really good for an AoE guy. Um, do I need more lucky rings? I do want to keep a key. Just, eh, you know what? Toss the key. I'll take more luck. That floats, so it's going to kick things out. I hate throwing that away, but I think we'll be okay. So let's see if we can get another level out of all this. Ah, uh, 16. We don't have enough to kill it. Oh, actually, yes, we do. We have enough to kill you. The bonk, bonk, and bonk. That brings in 13 damage, which means we'll be able to resist it all. <coughs> so now we kill the bat. And then we kill the big guy next turn. Because we'll have what how much damage? 28. No, 27 plus this. Yeah, we, we have plenty. Um, any good luck? Uh, that's not bad. Slime hand, when an adjacent item kills a non summon enemy, it creates a common item. Uh, I mean... Seems like we want to go with that. I would definitely like another tunic. This is going to be a risky move to do, but it's going to give me a bit more armor each turn, but I won't be able to add it up, so I better get a shield soon and replace these lucky rings with it. Slime Hand is just going to be worth so much more. This is going to, well, give me a little bit of a booster. I'm going to rearrange this real quick, though. Uh, do I want to keep that poison, the Peridot? I think so. I think I'll keep that instead of the Lucky Ring. I need to find one of the Slim Shields, but I should be okay with that too. The enemies on this floor are not too terrible. Okay, it all of a sudden just became terrible. Because we are going to take damage here. Oh no, we took one damage. Whatever will I do? Bonk to you. Uh, no, we'll skip the item. And I think we just go after his throat. Oh, he's down to one life. Ah, he's going to die from poison. I hate letting them die to poison because I like to get in the habit of killing them because you can usually get weapons that give you benefits for directly killing them. Anything good here? Small key, no. And we have a treasure chest, probably locked. Nope, it's not. Okay, when an enemy, when you kill an enemy, adds haste to self. That's probably the only thing here that's even like halfway interesting. Hmm. I think we take that instead of the lucky rings. Yes, lucky rings are nice for getting us better equipment, but. All we're needing right now is a better shield. Not so sure we're going to be set up for that right now. 
This guy won't take any more items, so I can't just sell to him. I think we keep this and just keep it a lookout for more machetes. Sadly, you're not going to be able to get Crystal Gauntlets this run because we'll probably just never see it again. Oh, we have a event there. Let's go ahead and pray for him. Cleansing Rag, nope. Just removes poison. I think we'll be fine without it. I don't like that I took damage. I probably should have gone and healed. Yes, that's a derp on my part, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. It's my mom's lost locket. I could have a clue about where she is. Okay. Belong to your mother. There's something inside it, but this property of the king. Oh. That's mine. All items in the dungeon belong to him. If you want it, you'll have to fight me for it. Okay. I mean, I'm not too terribly afraid of you if you're only doing 11 damage. Ouch. <laughs> Go ahead and slash at my armor all you want, buddy. And he's going to die from poison next turn. Yay. Or we can just stab him in the face. Oh, uh, skip item. Thorns is nice, but we never get enough of it to really do a lot with it. Belongs to your mother. There's something inside it, but only your mother knew how to open it. Uh, instead of the luck ring. And I think a chest of valuables. Cheese. Sells for 25 extra food in Haversack Hill. Sells for extra treasure in Haversack Hill. Okay, so I guess we take that instead of the Peridot? Or do we take it instead of the boots? We take it instead of the boots. Those are very tempting to keep, though. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of the machete and keep the boots. Probably could have kept more stuff if I would have been willing to do that, but... I think we're leaving the dungeon right now. Yeah, Haversack Hill. By Anna's Quills. Purse, there you are. Why were you gone for so long? I was exploring the dungeon. We talked about this. You promised to only stay near the entrance. I found this amazing backpack there. Let me explore deeper and bring more stuff back than ever before. Besides, we won't be able to rebuild the town with what we can find laying in the woods. That may be, but do I need to remind you how dangerous it is in there? I remember. I know it's dangerous, but someone needs to do something. Maybe I can finally make a difference. There's bandits, King's Garden, who knows what else. Still, Dad, someone needs to do something. It's what Mom would do. Your mom would also be more careful. Right, I'm sorry. I'll try to be more careful. I have to do this. I suppose there's no convincing you. Just promise me you'll be careful, Purse. Dad, I found something in the dungeon. I think it's Mom's locket. I saw one of the King's captains down there. I think he might have been there the day Mom was taken. Let me see it. This was your mother's locket. I recognize it, of course. She found this in the dungeon. She always claimed it was magic and there's a source of her luck down there. Remember, she had some way of opening things, but it was always a challenge for me. Can't get this thing. Come back to me next time you're around. I'll figure it out. Yay. Can we talk to this other person? You look rough. Did you fall for the old hermit crab in the treasure chest trick? I just came back from the dungeon. I figured. I always know you've gone down there when old Lewis starts pacing by the entrance of town. I hate to worry him. There's so many things down there that can help rebuild the town. But the dungeon keeps shifting, and I can't get deep enough. It is tricky down there. It took my brother, Baz, years to make any progress in his explorations. Don't know how my mom did it. Yeah, that Prada was something special. I sure do miss her. All the freaking puns are going to get to me eventually. Anyway, did you find anything good to sell down there? I found this magic backpack. It lets me carry lots of stuff. How about the backpack? Is that for sale? No way. This backpack lets me carry all sorts of stuff back. We can scrap it and sell it if only we had a store to sell it at. Why don't you remove the old store? We can get some resources from that. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. Okay. To destroy the old store, enter the build mode and choose destroy. I'll show you where the shop is. Um, destroy it to make more space. Cannot be moved. Destroy. Okay, so that exits it. Not enough population to destroy that. So we need more population to destroy all kinds of things. Can we destroy that? Wow, so it takes a lot of population to destroy anything. 
Apparently we do have a decent sized exploration space. So let's tell Czar. Let's grab that sword quickly. Here's a blueprint for a new one. Could you make it? Sell items here. Gain resources to expand Helversack Hill for each commercial decoration nearby. Get 5% efficiency. It'll take a few resources to build, but you got a few when you scrap the old store. You should set up a new store now. Um, let's go ahead and look around and see what kind of stuff we have here. We have a decent amount of space. I don't know if there's like a super efficient way to rebuild this. But this is reminding me of a certain PlayStation game that was pretty fun. Okay, let's go ahead and build a store. We will build it right by the entrance because we're going to be using it a lot, probably. So I will go... You know what? I'm going to go like there so I have room to build around it. Tell Zara you built a new shop. Okay, I if... Yeesh. Hate that I have to click that every single time to get out of it. Okay, when I said you should build a store, I meant over the next few weeks. How did you do it so fast? It's this backpack I found. Lift, move, carry, and organize anything, even buildings. With what you can do now, I think we could really build at Haversack Hill. I'll start setting up the store as a trading post. You should head back to the dungeon and find more supplies. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, we'll get rid of the haste. We'll get rid of the makes a common item. Excuse me. Get rid of... Which I think that's about all we want to get rid of. Okay, so we sold the items. We got cheese. We got build stuff. What can we actually build? Nothing. Okay, and I don't know if we take that stuff in with us. So yeah, we just go adventuring. Oh, so you actually get more characters you can play with. Cool. Basic run with no special settings. First journey, this quest is complete. You can, okay. But you will not make any progress in Haversack Hill. Your first trip into the dungeon, your first... Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we just need to be going for this. Oh, we don't... Oh, you butts. So, we don't get to just keep our stuff as we go in. Well, that sucks. Fine, fine, fine. Um, I'll get rid of this and get two things that are common. So, whetstone. And get some EXP. Actually, no. We want that EXP after we've done a fight. Oh, uh, yeah. We need to get rid of you because that honey thing is irritating. It's mostly just irritating because, well... It's very obviously going to keep us from doing stuff because honey will actually get on your... Say we got one honey, we'd actually have to put it like up here. And then on its turn, it would just blip, blip and expand out. It really kind of sucks. Yeah, nothing, we can't do too much yet. Because we don't have amazing things. Uh, Club Cleaver deals two damage when a cleaver kills a non-enemy. Eh, eh, that's not bad. I haven't ever done a cleaver run yet, so. Level up. Of course, we're going to take those and a spot above. What are you? Has a use in Haversack Hill. So yes, we'll take that. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take that as well as another common. So we have things that we can gather that actually do stuff in Haversack. So I need to be kind of aware of that. That's enough to block both of them. I'm going to go after the guy in the back first. Okay, so that guy's going to be trying to do something to me, so I think... Oh, I don't think I have enough to kill him. I think... That's enough. Now I can just murder this guy's face. 
Yeah, I didn't want to get the lightning bolt either. Lightning bolts will are not quite as bad. Basically, they'll float to the top, and then they'll drop ones below them. Which can be a little bit on the annoying side, but it's not the worst thing ever. Get items. Did we get anything good? Uh, I mean, we got our tunic. Don't have anything to use with it just yet, but we got it. I think I am just going to take the flewers. Uh, that's uncommon, but this takes up... No, it only takes up one slot. I think we'll take that instead of the key. Do we, no, we don't. We can't take enough things. To, yeah, we, we'll take it instead of a rose. Just because it's going to get us more money. And now we can grab that. Grab ourselves a little bit of extra gold. Yay. And stabby stabby time again. Why, yes. 10, 16. Hmm. That's 24. So, yeah, we just go block. Not really ideal. Okay, now th since they're setting up defenses, we can actually get rid of you. End turn. Let him play with our armor. You're going to try to run away. I don't think we have enough to kill you. We do not. We can do this. That frees up a slot because we're going to need it anyway. Took a bit of damage there, but I think we'll be fine. We're going to take a bit more damage here because I'm an idiot. Let's go ahead and grab a few more slots. We're going to go a little bit vertical here. I was hoping we'd get more armor, but alas, we did not. Um, nothing too amazing in here. Moves forward one space, turns clockwise. So it's going to be shunting stuff out of our inventory is what I really don't want about that. Because I do think it will actively kick stuff out. We're going to try it. Gets too much in the way. Fine. Actually, I prefer that over the amulet. The amulet's not bad. But it requires you getting hazards to actually make use out of it. Um, I will take a shield. Uh, pushes the frontmost enemy to the back of the group and adds seven block. It's better than this. It only takes up two slots. Let's go like that. Yeah. Now we have... We're like one space short of having enough room for everything, but it's fine. I prefer this shield over the other one. Shoves enemies to the back. Not really the best thing, but... I've had worse shields that I've had to use. Let's see what you have. Legendary, deals 14 damage. Ooh. Costs two gold to use, though. <laughs> it's a it's a gold-based weapon, which is not bad, but I don't really like it that much. So let's go ahead and get rid of the dragonfly. Let's get rid of the honeysuckle. And let's get rid of the whetstone. Those are the ones that I really, really don't care about. Get additional armor. Won't take any more items, but I think it might be beneficial just to get another one of these. Hmm. Getting a bunch of the machetes is actually really nice as well. Vampiric Axe deals 10 damage, adds 3 poison to self. No! It'd be really nice otherwise, but especially for a rare. Huh. I think that's about all we want from there. Let's go ahead and just grab gold. We'll grab treasure along our way too. And yes, you can skip over anything that's not enemies. Ooh, a shiv. Yes, so we'll take that. Actually, we'll take that instead of the ring. 
just because it's a free damage item. You only use it once per turn, but it's free damage. Here to do a trade, rare item of the same type. You can give me a better shiv. Uh, it's not better. I do like it better than our sword. It just does less damage. Which we can fix. Okay, let's get progress going here. This guy will run away whenever it's his turn, unfortunately. Oh, I didn't even need to shield there. Okay, we'll just stab you twice and turn. Keep forgetting, I have three tunics. <laughs> they are they are providing me... Oh, wow, not quite. The 28... He's 29 coming in. Yeah, we, we do need to protect against that. <laughs> 16. I think we're fine with this. Stabby, stabby. Oh, I should have done the heart cleaver. No! It's fine. I can heal later. Just got to keep our defense up high enough that we don't have to worry about him. I would like to use the heart cleaver. Kill him. Got him. Okay, as far as weapons go, deals 10 damage anchored for two combats. Uh, that's kind of rough. Ambidextrous glove for each column to the left. Adds for each turn, add one block. Um, let's look at that card. Weapons to the right get damage. Ooh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Catapult, not too interesting. Dice is nice. Cleavers are a bit of a pain because they don't do as much damage. I think we ditch the key for the glove. Can we swap these into different slots? Because it's every... Transform. Weapons to the right get plus one damage. So what we want to do is this, there, keep that, get rid of the key, lever slightly tempting, but this actually just does more damage now. So it's, it's nice. And this does more as well. We need to find a better weapon. <laughs> it's kind of one of the things that's high on my priority list. Or better weapon set. So 21, that's going to be 7, 11. It's exactly 21. Okay, so we can we can stab them all we want. Yay, we, we blocked a good chunk of it. Okay. That guy doing 26 is going to be a pain in the butt. Get rid of you. Just go for throat, I guess. I think the strategy with the cleavers is just to have a bunch of them and have the items that trigger everything around them. But I could be wrong. Oh yeah, he had the band-aid thing. I keep forgetting that that's the thing. Basically, whenever there's a little like double band-aid thing underneath them, it's telling you that, hey, you can do a certain amount of damage and they'll leave you alone basically uh do we get rid of the heart cleaver mm, maybe i definitely want to keep this huh <sighs> i think we get rid of one tunic Uh, let's see. Get you down there.
that up there. And we just fill in slots with other stuff like that. That would actually be kind of neat for each adjacent or diagonal structure plus two damage, but it's basically a structure is building. So. I hate getting rid of that tunic because we just did get it. But I think this is going to give us a bit more. Yeah, maybe. For a lot less space, yeah. Excuse me. We'll go for the XP here. That's more useful for us. We don't have any consumables for you, dude. Otherwise, I would totally do that. Can we actually buy a consumable for you? I mean, he'll give me an item. Um, there's a consumable. Here you go, buddy. We went out and bought you a potion. Maybe you wanted one of these instead. Uh, slow and everything, everybody. Energy, haste, and self. I think we'll just grab the potion and go. Seems like the best bet. We got the dice to re-roll a drop as well, so we could possibly get some better weapons. Oh, and we've got an item there that we're looking for. Okay, so we've got Queen that's going to summon more. This guy is... Oh, he's a start out summoned. Okay, so we've got how much damage coming in? Nine? So I think we do just go for him. That's zero. I think we go after you with that. 7, 14, 20. Oh, yeah, that's enough to kill that. And we're going to save that for next turn. Why? Go away. Please stop summoning crap on us. Ah, 22. Okay, so you're down to 88. Oh, and he's got the freaking armor on, so I can't kill him in one turn. He's gonna honey me up, sir. That's That's gross. I guess we just go for throat on you on this turn. End turn. Deal with the honey this next turn. Yep. Hazards. Blech. Boom. Get rid of that. Bonk and bonk. Don't want the poison being a thing. We're going to go ahead and drop the slow on them anyway. We got poisoned. It sucks, but I think we'll be okay. Giving a little bit of armor to everybody. I think we just, we go for throat. 12, 19, 27. So we do need to armor twice and stab once. It's going to keep poisoning us, which is going to suck a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and put that on the armor. And I think... Oh god, this is going to do a ton of damage. Because that's 27 plus 17, 34. I think we still just go for throat. Because these guys will run away on their turns. Okay, so you have nothing left. So bonk on you. Just stab and hope for the best. Survived with two life. Okay, so we can come here, grab this. Ourselves another golden cheese and exit. So this is not nearly as tough as quick runs. <laughs> quick runs have you, yeah. Oh, wow. 
find amazing things. You can hold on to stuff forever if you want, but I recommend selling as much as you can. Someone will stop by who knows something about... Okay. Whereas getting you deeper into the dungeon is going to help too. I've got some powerful equipment I can start you with. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Energy delivery. You start with these, which is token of energy. This item is disabled. Each turn adds one energy. Block and sword. We also get cornucopia and lost spark for that. Okay. You see it through at least three floors of the dungeon and you'll get a reward. Okay. I will just go in here. I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. Since it doesn't seem to let me want to use it. Oh, we can't sell that. Okay. I will sell everything else. Done. We got a new body as well. Well, you're back again. I am. You're never going to stop going there, are you? Not until this town is rebuilt. This place hasn't been the same since the King's Raids. If it wasn't for my bad leg, King would have conscripted me. Then you'd be all alone, Purse. If something happened to you, after losing Prada, I don't think I could live here without you. I miss Mom, too. I'm sorry I worry you, Dad, but... You know I have to do this. Librarian here reporting for duty. I was told that the Haversack Hill is getting... Okay. Still no library. We need to change that. Learn about powerful relics for each commercial decoration nearby. 5%. If Once you build one, we can really learn new things about the history of this place. She also mentioned that I am an expert in many languages that are written across... Okay. If you find anything to translate, it should be labeled as a lore item. Bring it to me and I'll be happy to translate it for you. Research. Oh, Fluff Kai. Always learning, striving to grow. Fluff Kai studies the ball of Sap's ancient glow. Kai is a thief. The frogs accuse, they hurled, but fate swiftly silenced the frogs. Cruel. Oh. Okay. That is everything from there. And you are. You have contributed to my campaign for mayor. You're running for mayor. We have a mayor? Not yet, you don't. I am Mayor Quillswish Jr., and I intend to be your next mayor. Lord Quillswish II was the mayor of Haversack back before it fell into despair. All this time, I've been waiting to claim my birthright, and now that the town is recovering, I have returned. But someone has to handle the true risks, the voting public. First thing I need is a small donation. Let's say 10 pieces of treasure. You have some treasure I can have, we just need about 10. Please swear me in, sure. Okay, did we just give him? I don't know which one of these is treasure. I don't think I know the oath. It goes like this. I, purse, adventurer, and settler, do hereby swear in Mayor Quilswith Jr. to the duty confirmed title mayor. Therefore, I now appoint you Mayor, Mayor Quilswish Jr. Okay, Mayor, Mayor. Your first name is Mayor? It's my birthright, and it is a family name. As for you, I can see that you are well prepared to handle this town. Allow me to help you. You can build as many of these as you want. Creates five food while you're in the dungeon. For each farmland tile nearby, plus 2% efficiency. Groovy. Houses will attract new villagers. We can't expand forever, though. The cost will keep rising. Okay. I actually demolish any of these things. Yeah, I need more population to demolish stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a library. We will build a house. Ah, oh, we can't afford houses because we don't have enough hammers. What are you going to give me? Okay. Each turn for each energy removes one energy, adds three mana. No. Your energy starts at one, increases each turn. is actually kind of nice. Items in the same type next to each other. And honestly, I like Tusk a lot. Okay. So I don't know how I actually research stuff, but it's there. 
I think we could just go adventuring again. But we are 45 minutes in. Eh, we'll do one more adventure. Why not? So energy delivery, basic run with no special settings. Energy delivery, sure, I think is going to be the one that we want to go for. Because it's going to give us progression. I'm liking this mode. It's, it's pretty entertaining. So let's go ahead and grab that. Don't think I want this adjacent to anything. When an adjacent or diagonal item is present, item is disabled and adds energy. So basically you can chunk items around it to get more energy, which is handy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to do that right away. What are you trading? Get a rarer item of the same type. Uh, no, thanks. Not yet. Let's go ahead and fight some guys first. One, two, three. Get rid of the honey boy. Oh, wait. We have four energy. Oh, because that is... Yeah, it doesn't add it per thing. It just adds it in general. And I probably should have been paying attention. I was not. Take the damage. It's fine. Okay, so that's going to need a spot to do its own thing, so we'll do that. You go up there. Okay, so we need this just kind of chilling. Oh. Up there. And we'll just take a couple small things. Can't take more items. We're done with that. It's fine. What do you have in here? Oh, it's it's a crab! The mimic. Okay, so he's going to come after us so we can just go at throat. Now, we only get three per thing. Uh, no. Let's go ahead and get more room over here. Get items... I think we want to go for more luck. We'll just kind of buffer stuff around that just because we don't really need to use those. Oh, it's going to disable that. Now let's go ahead and get those up there. Go for some leather boots, I think, is our last item. Sells for 10 tre Oh, 10 extra treasure. Ooh, let's go for over that instead of the key. Actually, no, that instead of one of the rings. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. And we need to stab the guy in the back. Oh, it's whenever an item is around it, it disables this. Well, butts. Well, we'll go ahead and grab those and stab you in the face. At least we got a smaller shield. So it doesn't disable the items around it, it gets disabled. I can deal with that. I, I can build around this. In turn. Let him do his thing. It doesn't look like we're going to have too much trouble with this run. When we start getting in deeper, yeah, we will. But uh, Add slow to enemies. It's a heavy one. It deals more damage. It only costs one to use. We'll go with it for now. Excuse me. And you know what? I think I am going to go with losing the energy. That's legendary. So is... I forget what the part of this... I think it would be in here. Nope. Hmm. Sells for 40 extra materials in Haversack Hill. Oh, we're getting a bunch of items that would be actually good for Haversack Hill. Let's go... I kind of want that. But I think beating the dungeon is more important, so we'll, we'll live without it. 
if we see another one, we'll take it. Hopefully, it's not necessary to get that kind of thing. Uh, this is only going to give us 24. Oh, wait, we can throw this. One, two, three, and turn. And it should be just keep clawing at his face and go for the go for throw. Yes, level up. It's gonna give us a bit more room to mess around with. So you can get the heck out of the way. Give us more energy. As far as this stuff goes, when a diagonal shield is used, used add. Okay, yeah, we can add that. Extra block is always welcome. Extra treasure is welcome. And our third item is probably going to be the uncommon. The potted aloe. Unfortunately, that disables that, but I think we'll be fine. Definitely you. Actually, you know what? Give me the give me the yield. Now we can get more energy. I think we should be okay. I probably shouldn't have used that. I probably should have just saved it and soaked up the bit of extra work that that would cause. But it's fine. And get rid of you. By extra work, I mean extra turns. Uh, this is actually a fun one. Hmm... We do need three slots if we want the machete. Shoe hat is actually really handy as well. We will take the shoe hat. I think we're losing the key. I'm gonna set that outside for just a moment. That's just armor. Yeah, if we have one on bottom, it does its thing. I think I go like th this. But that there, this there. There we go. And we lose this, so we might as well just take the key with us. Grab one more item, which is a rare whetstone. I think that's everything in here. We could go for something like of more rarity. Get a rare item of the same type. I wonder what happens if we do that with the key. I have never tried it. Let's let's go ahead and do that. It gives me just another key. That's fine. I was just curious. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. I don't know if I needed to keep the wooden sword to actually accomplish the goal. Yeah, let's see what you are. You're another traitor guy. I might come back for him. We'll see. Okay. Let's see. And slow, if I remember quick. Correctly? Yeah. Correctly. Reduces the yeah, reduces the amount of armor they get. We only have three. Seven, fourteen, nine, uh, oh, we got seventeen coming in. We got one too many coming in. Okay, so we'll just bash you twice. Yeah, we don't have lethal coming in, so we'll just go ahead and take you out. Thirteen is gonna just bounce off of us. Eight will just bounce off of us as well. So I am fine with him just keep doing the same two moves. It's okay. Oh, we got more. We got more armor. 
Okay, so that can go away. We'll get another helmet. Uh... I think we get rid of the boots. Plop those down there. Grab this. Get rid of the key. Now we have that back. Although I'm going to go ahead and take these. We're probably going to sell them. Not reveal a shop. So now we should have, yeah, 21 defense coming in on each turn. We have to deal with some slimes on the next turn, which is going to suck, but it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all those. Stabby stabby. Oh, I didn't want to... Ah, damn it. Gonna do it again. I meant to click the sword, but it's fine. Okay, so, so we're good now. I just have to keep stabbing this guy in the face as much as possible. And yes, if we didn't have any weapons, we could use Scratch to do three... Not really my play style. But it is definitely something you could do. Ooh, and we take damage, we get haste. It's rare, so since I'm going to be selling stuff, let's go ahead and swap that out for the key. Wow, we didn't get a shop in all of that? Ooh. Yeah, the tunic is actually kind of a tempting thing there as well. But we're not going to do that. Unknown event. Oh, Queezen Rat. I want a shop. I don't want to keep fighting all these people. All these people. Uh, we have plenty of armor, so I do think we just go for throat. Yeah, we should be fine. He can't do enough damage in one turn to actually be a problem. So we just throw the knife at him. We can actually right-click on it and use it a max number of times. It's just not a big deal, but at the same time, it's just as easy to just left-click on it as much as possible. So plop those over there. Get another bottom one. So that can go over yonder. Item has a use in Haversack Hill. Yes, we'll take that. Weapons two spaces away get plus four damage. Plus four damage. It's rare, so I'll take it. I don't think any of the rest of this... Oh, we got a legendary. Weapons in this column get 200% bonus damage this combat, and it's destroyed if we use it. I don't care. I don't want it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid... Ah, uh, no, we're going to sit on that. I'm a There's a shop. Thank God. I can now sell crap. Okay, so we can do the... That one. We can do both the whetstones. There's supplies. Supplies! Um... Think we get rid of the pearl? Doesn't give us... Uh, he won't take any more items. We'll get rid of that and get the construction stuff. Yes, I realize it's pretty much just taking up a slot in here every single time. So that's we're going to take that. I wish I could sell more, but I cannot. Okay, let's go for... No, we'll just go for treasures. Why not? Maybe we'll get a good shield. Or maybe we'll get absolutely nothing. We haven't got any curse chests yet, so. Well, let's see. Another crab boy. Thankfully, we have enough defense to not worry about it. Get items... We got another boot. 
It's not as good as this, unfortunately. We'd get four from this and we'd get like five from that with there. You know what? We'll do it anyway. You get an achievement for doing that, by the way. Yeah, that's just four as well. So yeah, we'll stick with the leather hat. Uh, nothing here is too terribly tempting. Ten extra food and haversack. Maybe we take that instead of that. Yeah, we're just picking up treasure for haversack. And this is our third floor. The Crypt Finale. Time to murder, I guess. Oh, it's another Queen Bee one. Okay. 11 coming in. We stab for the Queen. Let's see, 18 coming in. We're going for that. Twenty-four coming in. I think we eat it and just take as much damage in on them as possible. I think we just keep at it. Yeah. And then we kill that and they should run away. Oh, there's still a live one. Crap. Okay, so you need to die. Now they'll run away. I don't care about g gathering stuff to reorganize. 85 gold in there. Let's grab you, which should be cheese. Oh no, it's just, oh, it's the cornucopia and the lost spark. So let's go ahead and ditch that. I guess we really don't have a choice. I'm gonna get rid of those two helmets and put that in. And we beat the dungeon! Yay! With our weird starting stuff. So let's go ahead and sell the garbage. What does the, what does the treasure actually add? Okay, so the treasure is the blue. Okay. I don't see a reason to be keeping most of this stuff. Let's go and get more building materials. We'll get more food. Can't be sold in, selling the Lost Spark. I think that is stuff that we use elsewhere. There we go. Done. We can build a house. Also, I, there's a lot of places I can't build houses, too. So we'll build a house there and there. You know what? Let's just go ahead and build houses all over the place. Okay, done. Let's see. Who, uh, who takes these? You take them, right? Research that. The nine heads of the cats fell to the crow. After the dogs fled back to their sacred isle, rodents came out of the wood and began to rebuild. And a humble badger became king. Hey, we got a new costume. Cool. I don't think there's any text. Oh, it's not an item you can do anything with. Hmm. I guess it's because we need to build a farm. We can just kind of move stuff as we please, so it's not too... Upsetting whenever stuff is there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call that a episode. An episode. 
having fun with it so far. Story mode is a lot more engaging than the quick play. Quick play is just the puzzle of doing basically a Slay the Spire run. I don't know how to research these things. Because I want this. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Tusk. But alas, it's not there. But anyway, keep gaming, have fun, peace out. This has been Alzareth, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.